Because this is on the heels of 16 people being shot in one day on Tuesday. And this crime and disorder that we're seeing in New York and other urban communities, it's only getting worse. We as a society need to stand up and say, we are not going to take this anymore. And we need to let our politicians know this is unacceptable because they're sure as hell not going to step up and do it. So the way we do that is by electing law and order candidates. We need to fund our police departments. We need to vehemently prosecute violent criminals, hold DAs and judges accountable. And we need to let these dirtbag criminals know that we're not going to tolerate this crap anymore on our streets. You know, we've got a Fox News poll, to your point, nearly 8 out of 10. They're really worried about crime. This is hitting the midterms and hitting it hard. Police departments now having to offer bonuses to stop a cop shortage. We're hemorrhaging. We're losing cops. Democrats defund police, demoralizing political attacks. Joe, you and I have been talking this, about this since 2020. And we've got also this. We've got even criminal justice reformer Alice Marie Johnson. She is saying it is really hitting women. This is an issue about women. And Democrats have been silent about the attacks on women after their defund police push. Watch Alice Marie Johnson with us last night. Watch. As a woman, I do not want to defund the police. I think we need to fund the police and make sure that they're focused on the things that they need to be focused on, not just writing tickets, trying to raise money, but we need to be able to make sure that they've got enough money to do their jobs. I want any politician to go into the neighborhoods and go boots on the ground, ask the people who are living this daily, do you want us to defund the police? And I think every answer would be no. 